If you're looking for children's books to help you teach your children about taking responsibility for their actions, you're in the right place. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Jessica from Learning with Jessica Diaz. Children's storybooks are a great way to help teach your child about taking responsibility for their actions. The books themselves can give great examples and explanations, but also the shared experience of reading the book with your child can help give you a great jumping off point when starting a conversation about good behavior. Also, just so you know, all the books I'm going to talk about today are linked down in the product description below if you'd like to see more reviews or check out more information. First up is, but it's not my fault. So I would say that this book is a must get. It shows you the day in the life of a character named Noodle. He has a rough day and he insists that everything is not his fault. But at the end of the day, his mom helps him realize that it's really not about fault. It's about taking responsibility. The book even includes tips for parents and teachers. Our second book is Do I Have To? I love the format of this book. It's not your typical storybook style. It um, has nine letters from nine different kids with nine different problems. And all of these kids write to a 13-year-old advice columnist named Tina Truly. And she gives them practical advice on how to go about solving their problems. There's even a fun quiz at the end to reinforce the lessons that are weaved throughout the book. Third up is The Bernstein Bears and the Blame Game. This storybook is great because it's so relatable and it has a great message. A brother and sister keep breaking things around the house as they're playing and they each blame the other. Their parents get really frustrated but ultimately teach them to focus on working together to solve whatever problems come up. All right. Fourth is What If Everybody Did That? This storybook is simple but thought-provoking. It shows different situations where poor choices are made, like littering or calling out or leaving a coat on the floor, and it asks the question, what if everybody did that? And then after asking that, there's a picture dedicated to what it would look like if everyone did in fact do that. And I love that this storybook ends with a positive scenario, giving your mom a hug. What if everybody did that? Fifth is The Girl Who Blamed the World. This storybook highlights the time in the life of a character named Rosalie, from the time she's a little girl until she's an old woman. Rosalie is chronically unhappy and blames everyone else for her problems. The lesson comes at the end of the book when her grandson tells her that staying sad is a choice and that everyone has the right to pursue happiness. Our sixth book is I'll Do It. This book is full of tasks that kids can do to show that they are being responsible. It doesn't follow your typical storybook format. It's more of a do's and don'ts of taking responsibility. It might be worth noting that the author is from the United Kingdom. So if you're from the U.S. like me, there may be a few words that are unfamiliar, but that they're easy to figure out from context clues, like a plaster is a bandage or cloakroom is a closet. I hope that you and your kids will love these books as much as I do and that they'll help you with teaching your kids about taking responsibility. Happy reading.